Srivatsa is my name. I am an orthopedic surgeon at uh, Vasavi Hospitals. I specialize in surgeries of shoulder and knee joint. Uh, I am going to tell you about uh, robotic knee surgeries. So, off late, a lot of patients come to us asking for robotic knee replacements. So, what exactly is a knee replacement? Knee replacement is a surgery wherein we replace the damaged cartilage with a prosthesis. It, uh, the surgery is performed to reduce pain and enhance mobility. The world performs over a million uh, total knee joint replacements every year. And why do we perform so many knee replacements? One, because osteoarthritis is a fairly crippling condition. And number two, knee replacement traditionally has been a very successful surgery. So the advantages of having a robot is that it is very precise, it is accurate and it is easily reproducible. That means whatever we plan to do during surgery, it can be easily reproduced using the robot rather than us doing a conventional surgery. So what happens during a robotic knee replacement surgery is the surgery per se is no different than a total joint replacement. It's just the way we execute it, the way we plan it and uh, the way we achieve the end result is a little different. So what we do uh, prior to surgery is we perform CT scans of the knee or rather the CT scan of the limb that uh, we plan a knee replacement on and the CT scan is uploaded to a software. Then it undergoes a process called segmentation wherein the landmarks of the knee are acquired. Each patient gets a personalized plan which is now transferred to the robot. Then what we do during surgery, we attach trackers onto the limb and then the trackers are matched with the robot to see if the information that is acquired by the robot and the anatomy in the knee are the same. So the robotic uh, joint replacement surgery is akin to a, a GPS. So what we actually do is we map, we map the anatomical landmarks and then we plan where to cut, how much to cut. And with the robot, the precision can be as good as 0.5 millimeters and 0.5 degrees. So what we do, we attach trackers to the patient and then the robot verifies the landmark. And then we can plan as to how many degrees of a cut we want. And then we can also plan to what millimeters we need to uh, cut the deceased cartilage and the final alignment and what tissue tension that we are going to place finally in the replaced knee. And then uh, the, ro the, the robot has an arm. The robotic arm aligns itself to the knee. And then with the help of the cutting tool, we make the cuts that are required uh, for a joint replacement. And after that, um, the prosthesis uh, that we use the post-op care is more or less similar uh, to a conventional knee replacement. Uh, there, people do claim that uh, the soft tissue injuries, that is the tissues that are surrounding the joint or the bone, the injury to those structures are very less when we perform a joint replacement surgery because the robot can recognize or the robot can differentiate between bone and the soft tissues. So it does not stray into the soft tissues when we take the cuts. So because of that, we expect the robot or the robotic surgery uh, to have less pain after surgery. But uh, we do need to confirm this with more studies. But what we do know is the robot is very precise, it's very accurate and uh, very reproducible and the alignment is very precise following surgery. And what we do expect 
over the long term is uh, for it to transform into better results and better patient satisfaction.